Hi guys, my name is C-Mac. I'm from C-Mac's Paperbacks and I'm here to do another book review with you. So just a quick intro, if you are new here, this channel I do very quick, as fast as I can talk book reviews. All the books I read are written reviewed at cmaxpaperbacks.com, link down below, and I do certain books I pick and choose and I put them on here. So if you'd like me to review any of the books I've already read or new books, new recommendations, please let me know in the comments below either at my blog or here. So welcome, welcome back, and let's dive into today's review. Today we are reviewing Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. So I have to, I just have to say it, not trying to cause any drama, but do you have Prime? Please raise your hand if you have read or watched the show The Summer I Turned Pretty on Prime. Because I have. And while reading this book, I could only picture the characters from the show. I actually, this is how I found out about it because I did some research because I thought, oh, that's cool. The Summer I Turned Pretty must have been based on this book. They probably just changed the name or something because this book, we'll get into it. But yeah. No. The Summer I Turned Pretty is not only a book, it's a book series written in 2009. This was written in 2020. I am so curious if Carly read it and she probably didn't mean to do anything. I, don't know. I mean, she was an editor, so I wonder even if... <laughs> I mean, I wonder if that, while writing this, if that series stories was in the back of her head because whew, it's... It's really the same. I could not help it. I mean, yeah. I don't think anything was, like, done on purpose. You know, it's just sometimes you're influenced by things. So, but um, this book, is it a young adult novel? That's my other. Um, I wouldn't let my 12-year-old child read this. It's spicy. It's it's dirty. It's I try to think back to 12 or 13. I was not having the thoughts that Percy was having at 12 and 13 years old. I was way too busy doing way other things, childish things. So I kind of get why it was laid out that way as a timeline it kind of makes sense, but <laughs> it's spicy. Um, so yes, this is a young adult novel that um, only older people should probably read. Please don't let your 10, 12, 13 year old read this. It's not for them. So this is a very spicy book of, I guess, a coming to age story of friendships, love, lots of sex. <laughs> That's what this book is. Um, but yeah, so that that's like the couple huge elephants in the room. In the end, I finished this book and I loved it. Um, I know there's a lot of comments that the dialogue isn't real. It, it isn't how they speak. It isn't whatever, whatever. I disagree. I, I love this book. I love the characters. I loved the dialogue. I loved the story of it. I I just thought it, I thought it was great. I wanted I wanted to pick up this book and read it I was sad when it's over I wanted to, you know I, I liked this book I thought it was very good I really enjoyed it I did dock it a star just because of the spiciness and the similarity with the summer I turned pretty I just felt like that was too much <laughs> but overall super great book um I really should read the summer I turned pretty now because I've spoken about it so much but very very good book again young adult book that is written for adults <laughs> let your children read this um but yeah have you read this um is it just me have you seen the show have you read it am i nuts am i starting drama this shouldn't be out there um let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching as they say in youtube world like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next book review. Thank you.